Is it about changing the, the world? problem that's right Or is it your you? generation's time? Let's find out. To the world, it is the 25th of January, but to me, it is the 6th of June. Last year on that day, I woke up with a friend calling me to say that Khaled, a guy who lived just two blocks away from me, died yesterday while sitting in a cyber cafe. Police officers, two police officers broke into the place, asked everyone to show their IDs just because the country is under emergency law. And when he refused to be treated in this way, they dragged him out of the cafe, beat him to death, and leave, and leave him dying in the streets. The friends of Khaled Saeed did not remain silent. They created a Facebook group called We're All Khaled Saeed to advocate for actions and peaceful protests that would make the government pay attention to what happened to Khaled. But the government did not listen. Nothing. No actions were taken. Six months after Khaled's death, Tunisia had its revolution. And while the Tunisian revolution was going, the admins of Khaled Saeed group created a Facebook event for the 25th of January to be a day of peaceful protests against unemployment, corruption, and police brutality in Egypt. On the 25th, there were just a couple of hundreds in the streets, but by the 28th, there were 90,000 Egyptians registered attending on Facebook. And by the time the revolution continued, there were millions of Egyptians on the streets. Now the question is, how did the revolution happen? How can we use social media to make such impact? One of my favorite quotes is, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Now the small group of citizens in our case are the Egyptian youth of the internet. Only 26% of Egypt is on the internet, and much less than this number is in, is in the social network, whether Facebook or Twitter we're talking about. This small percentage had to force the government to shut down all mobile and network connections for five days, just to stop people from protesting. Although people protested and brought down governments even before social media and internet existed, now with these new tools we can have the same impact with much less time and with much less effort. So you can walk away from my talk and say, okay, social media is effective, but what do we actually mean by effective? Did anyone think that social media can be used to bring down political systems? Was it even imagined that it would trigger protests all around the Arab regions from Libya, Yemen to Syria? Was it even thinkable that we can have protests in Wisconsin and inspired by ones in Egypt just because there was a medium of social media existing? Before the revolution started, I always felt threatened that I can get arrested at any moment just because my country is under emergency law. I never been to voting because I know that my voice will not count. I lost hope in change, and when the revolution started, I was one of the people who were desperate at the beginning that this revolution is going to change anything. I was not with great hopes in this revolution. And if this revolution taught me anything, then it's that once you lose hope, you're almost there to succeed. If the people who started this revolution were already losing hope in the country, nothing would have happened. You just need to be brave enough to take the first step, and then the rest will follow. Last time I was in New York, I was in a cafe with Yuta Dash, and a girl came up to me asking, where do I live in the States? And I said, no, I'm from Egypt. So she got so excited that in my mind, I was like, I didn't know that girls here like Egyptian guys. But then she said, oh my god, you live in a pyramid. And I was like, no, I don't live in a pyramid. We don't have friends anymore in the country. We're just, pyramids are just there to take pictures. And when that happened, at that moment, I realized that people in the US do not know that much about my country. And this changed after the revolution. Now everyone is Googling and tweeting about Egypt. Everyone is talking about the revolution, Facebook and Twitter. So I bet if I was with you guys right now at TEDxTeen, and the same girl came to me, she would ask for my Facebook account.